Hello Curious and welcome back. Despite the fact that it has been several weeks since Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa had announced their divorce, it is still one of the most talked about topics as fans and media are carefully watching the two celebrities to see what will happen next and which of them will get into another relationship first. Though what some had come to notice was that for the most part, Lisa has been withdrawn from social media, keeping to herself and staying out of the limelight. With the exception of her high-profile relationships with not only the Aquaman star, but also Lenny Kravitz. Given this, could one of her main reasons that both of her marriages ended be their fame? Just why has Bonet stayed out of the spotlight? What happened with her and Kravitz's relationship? And could both the divorces be her fault? Make sure to stay with us until the very end to find out all the gossip, but before that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you're always up to date with the most interesting celebrity gossip. It had been some time since the announcement that Momoa and Bonet had announced their divorce, after 16 years together. It was a surprise to many as it seemingly came out of the blue, as there was nothing that suggested there was trouble between the couple. We're not going to dwell too much on their love story and divorce, so if you would like to know more, then be sure to check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, stay with us to find out if maybe Lisa was the one to blame for their divorces. For those of you who might have heard of Lisa but not necessarily be sure as to who she is, don't worry, we'll give you a quick rundown. So get ready as we delve into the actress who by many fans was dubbed as a mysterious woman. Lisa Bonet was born in 1967 in San Francisco, California. While in her teens, the star was invited by her friend to go with her to an acting class and Bonet enjoyed it so much that she had made a decision to come back. Gaining some experience, when she was 16 years old, she landed a spot on a medical drama Saint Elsewhere. Though without a doubt, her rise to fame came with the role of Denise Huxtable on The Cosby Show, which she played from 1984 to 1991. As the name suggests, one of the other stars of the show was Bill Cosby, and the other cast featured Felicia Rashant, Raven Simone, Keisha Knight Pullerman and Malcolm Jamal Warner, to name a few. As the TV show gained popularity and awards, Bonet began spending more and more time in the spotlight. She and her on-screen siblings were featured on special programs such as Knights of 100 Stars 2, which is a live entertainment marathon for the benefit of the Actors Fund of America. But then in 1986, when she was 18 years old and therefore officially an adult, Lisa was still the big sister of the family show, yet also starred in a movie that had earned her some criticism. It was titled Angel Heart, an R-rated film that starred Robert De Niro and Mickey Rourke. The reason the actress faced some backlash was that while everyone had seen her as the star of this family-friendly show, this production featured nudity and intimate scenes. Though later she herself said it was important that she did it as it pushed her career forward and because it stopped people from just seeing her as Denise. Though of course, one of the reasons that Bonet's name has been in the press a lot was her relationship with musician Lenny Kravitz. The pair had first met in 1985 backstage at a New Edition concert in California. At the beginning of their relationship, Kravitz was known as Romeo Blue, which was his stage name for a time in his career. At the time, he was still an upcoming musician and once the two started their relationship, the tabloids would often refer to him as Mr. Bonet, which he himself had noted in an interview with the Rolling Stone adding that she was his biggest inspiration who helped him open up artistically. For a while, the two were just friends, but eventually their relationship turned romantic and the two eloped in November 1987 on Bonet's 20th birthday, and a year later, they welcomed their daughter, Zoe. The pair was one of the most popular couples, until they separated in 1991, ultimately finalising their divorce in 93. However, here it is worth pointing out that since then they had remained close friends. As many celebrity couples do when they end a relationship, after a time, this former couple had openly talked about the reasons for their split. And in a 2014 interview, Kravitz had said that they were both extremely young. He also went on to add, I think I just wasn't ready. I had to take a break. I went through a lot of emotional things. Though it did not mean that their split was easy. In the same interview, the American woman singer had said that he was in a tremendous amount of pain and had trouble sleeping. Though it may have been hard for them both, as we mentioned earlier, they had remained very good friends even to the point where her next husband, Jason Momoa, and Lenny became really close pals. Now, just like when she got with Kravitz, when Momoa and Binet first got together, the Aquaman star had troubles finding roles. Though with time, especially his parts in the hit HBO series Game of Thrones and the DC superhero movies, his popularity grew. And while right now his career is at its current peak, some had wondered whether the actress who stays away from the spotlight had really ended both marriages as her partners became too famous. 
when it comes to being in the limelight, Lisa has been known to dip in and out of it. According to her IMDb page, Binet has only 26 acting credits to her name, with the most recent one being a movie short titled The Jelly Wolf from 2017. So back in 1986, when she appeared on Late Night with David Letterman, the star opened up about the fact that acting wasn't all that it was chalked up to be. Speaking about her first role on the medical drama, she had said that she wasn't into acting all that much, but going to school in LA, especially as a minority, there was not much work out there. And so, when an opportunity came for, for a paying acting gig, she took it. When Zoe was born and Binet separated from Lenny, she and her daughter lived in LA County's Topanga Canyon, as the 33-year-old actress commented, somewhat removed from Hollywood. She recalled growing up surrounded by chickens and dogs, in a way much different than some celebrity children who grow up in the spotlight. And if you would like to know more about the, some star's kids, be sure to check out our playlist with all our videos on that topic. Though for now, stay with us until the very end. In a 2008 interview, which for Lisa had become a rare thing in recent years, she had talked about getting her life together away from the spotlight when she first took a break. In the beginning, many people thought her departure from the spotlight and the second season of the Cosby show titled A Different World was because she was difficult to work with. Though as it later turned out, there might have been two factors for that. She was pregnant with Zoe, and Bill refused to write that into the show. And two, because after welcoming her kid, she did not want to work, but spent time with her. In the People interview, she highlighted that she became a mother for the first time, then later more big changes came as she divorced Lenny and that was something she needed to deal with. Even 98, she pointed out that she had a different way of living life, especially for LA. For her, it was taking care of her child and finding what interested her. So instead of working at the time, she would be with her family to do a lot of thinking and yoga. But as we said, she would dip in and out of fame. And when she made a return at the end of the decade, she appeared in productions such as Enemy of the State and one of her most known works, High Fidelity. When it came to her relationship with Jason, the pair were together for a very long time, which is why fans were shocked by their split. As some of you might know, the pair met in 2005, and while Momoa had such productions as Baywatch and North Shore under his belt, he was still a fairly unknown actor, similarly like Kravitz, who was an unknown musician when the two got together. However, during their years together, the Aquaman star became more and more famous, especially after landing a role on Game of Thrones. Well, he seemed to share the same values when it came to raising their children, as his now ex-wife did, such as spending plenty of time with them outdoors, not having a TV in the house, playing music. He did not let go of chasing his acting dream, especially in the recent years he has been getting more and more roles. The former couple split was credited to the fact that they both wanted different things from life and the fact that Bonet had no desire to join her husband on the location where he was filming for different roles. Well, he clearly has no desire to take a break from acting as his booming career. Though some fans had suggested that there was someone behind their split and to them, that was Amber Heard. What made them think so? Find out in their previous video by clicking on the link above. So would this mean that the real reason for both of Lisa's marriages ending was the fact that her partners got too famous for her? Well, the reason that they had given were of course much different and throughout the years, Bonet hasn't been a total recluse, still working in the industry and attending events, but all on her own terms. And given that she likes to stay out of the limelight for the most part and has done so from the start of her career, it could have been seen as one of the reasons for it. So what do you think, Curious? Do you believe that both her partners getting too famous has an effect on their relationship? Would Bonet prefer someone who stays out of the limelight like her? And who do you think she could date next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.